What, Rabbi Akiva, what the Gemara is saying is that Rabbi Akiva took the Chatan Lufanecha, which is a reason for punishing us, right? For, you've sinned, we've sinned, therefore, so and so is the result. And he turned it around and he said, But, but, God Almighty, you're the same God, you're the same Hashem. So I understand why you're bringing the decree on the community, but the same Hashem. We only have you. So we have no one else to die to. We made a mistake. But we're appealed to you. And the Gemara says, Umiyad then. By the way, it says Umiyad. He immediately was answered. It wasn't though that he was answered after, you know, a long time. But as soon as he said that, Miyad then. So what we see from this is the power of a Vino Malkeinu uh, and how important it is. I remember once, what is the halacha? We don't say Avinu Malkein on Shabbos. Why? Why? Basically, the, the, the logic is Shabbos, you're not supposed to ask for your tzrachim, your needs. Why? Because Shabbos is so holy and powerful, Shabbos, and that your needs are answered automatically. In the terminology of the, of, of the Talmud, Shabbos is mekatsha u it is holy, kachet, sanctified, and, and, and existent. In other words, Shabbos brings the answer automatically. By the way, on a day that you're exempt from saying tachnum, right? If you ask the average Jew, why don't you say tachnum? They'll tell you the reason I don't say tachnum is because it's a bris. The reason I don't say tachnum is because we have a chos in here. Whatever, whatever the logic is, right? We're not talking about that. That, that. That's a different discussion. We're talking about people who say normal tachnum and come to a bris, you don't say tachnum. Ask someone, what's the reason? Halakhically, the reason is because the festival is such a ha happy occasion that it, it removes the tachnum. Hasidus adds one nuance that's very important. It's not as Hasid says, it's not just that it's removed, it's removed because it's unnecessary. Because the day itself or the event itself substitutes for what Tachnum would accomplish. You hear that? So in other words, Shabbos, we don't say Tachnum. Not only don't we say Tachnum Shabbos, why? Because you're not allowed to mention sin or you're not allowed to mention, you know, your requests. It's not only the negative, you're not allowed to, but it's also the positive. We have Shabbos. We have a bris. We have a wedding. You know what kind of great energy and holiness those days bring? And they bring such, or those events bring, and they bring such holiness that you don't need to say Tachnum. I'm saying the same thing with Avinu Malkeim. I recall once, on, on Yom Kippur, if Yom Kippur comes out of Shabbos, you don't say Tachnum, right? You know, so you don't say Avinu Malkei, right? Mm -hmm. I remember one time, I think it was before the Yom Kippur War, or as it was happening, whatever, the Rebbe instructed them to say the last Avinu Malkeinu during the Ela. And we all, we didn't, we, we didn't know, we didn't know what's happening. But if, 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 if the Rebbe, <laughs> you know, the Rebbe wouldn't violate halacha, trust me, he was a very firm Jew. But it was an ace sorrow. It was like saying to him, the Rebbe with his, with his holiness saw, felt something's happening, you know? And that's when the Yom Kippur War broke out. Yeah, was it on Yom Kippur? Yeah. On Yom Kippur? Wow. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I, I, I might have even been there, I don't recall, but, uh, and it happened once later again, I think in 1982. It happened a few times during his uh, leadership at the Lubavitcher Rebbe, a few times, mostly not, but a few <coughs> times, and then later we discovered that there was such a sorrow for the Jewish people, especially in the in yeah, Israel, sorry. Sorry. Sorry, a, a, a problem, an agony, sorry, sorry. A, 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 a,
and that, that at that time, it's like saying Tilim at night. We discussed them last week, right? About not saying Lodol uh, Shamori at night and all that, because you're not supposed to read Chumash or, or Tanakh without commentary at night. We spoke about that, right? But what did we say? And if, if someone, God forbid, is not well, you say Tilim at night, because it, it, it's out of the boundary of Halachism. It's, it, it's, not any, it's no longer Halachic, it's now um, transcendent. It's, it's going kind of directly to God. It's heart to heart. You know, it's, it's a whole different experience. So, when when uh, I, 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 I'm, the Rebbe didn't explain himself, I, I, I'm 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 explaining what I think would be the explanation if you had to put it into words. That because the Jewish people were in such a situation, he he, he called for the saying of Yom Alkeinu, beseeching Hashem.